Hello, I am Lunchbox, and this is my Snowflake Iron Man, Snowfangs. As an Iron Man, Snowfangs cannot trade or get help from any other players. His ultimate goal is to kill every NPC in Old School RuneScape in order of their combat level. What makes Snailfang special is that he also cannot use, buy, or pick up any items until he first gets it as a drop from an NPC. That means he can't even make himself a weapon until he first gets it as a drop from an NPC. One day, Snailfangs will take on the game's greatest challenges, starting from the bottom. Alright, so I have been running around doing this for a while, and I, uh, I remembered that there is a better way to do this. Uh, the Inhasidious, the Woodcutting Guild, there is a... Uh, an NPC that will make planks for me as well. And with the Woodcutting Guild bonus, it's a, it's a nice positive. But what reminded me of that is I got some new unlocks. Let me go over those real quick. So uh, between the last time I ever did some recording, I got the Beekeeper's Boots. I'm still hoping for that flax. Um, I got some cut rubies from Flippa as well as a, I think it was an Earth Impling. I got a cut ruby. And I also got from an Earth Impling compost. And it wasn't until the second time I got compost where I realized, like, oh, wait a second. The thing that you can do with this is also make those, like, Hosidius, like, uh, fertilizers for, for points. And that got me thinking about Hosidius. It's like, oh, God, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Uh, get up to 75% Hosidious favor so that I can get into the woodcutting guild to speed up this process a bit. Um, I think eventually it'll benefit me to be able to get into the woodcutting cutting guild anyway, so figure may as well. So that is going to be my uh, next little grind. Okay, so I currently have 70 saltpeter. That's uh, a tenth of what I need. I could do more... Winter taught to get more, but that seems like really out of the way. Yeah, let's see how long it takes to get um, the favor for Hosidius just by pushing the plow. Oh, this actually isn't taking too long. Yeah, maybe I'll just do this. Alright, so new plan. Um, I'm going to do the plows until 5. Or, I guess until, let's just say 45%. I'm going to do the plows until 45%, and then I'm going to switch over to the mess hall. Uh, interestingly enough, I could do the mess hall without uh, any issues, because all of the items that you make in it um, are not the same items as you would make uh, outside of the mess hall. So you make a servery meat pie instead of just a meat pie. And you make a servery pineapple pizza and a servery stew, all of which are not dropped by monsters. So they are free for me to make and uh, get my uh, host city's favor up that way. So once I get to 45, after pushing this plow around a whole bunch, I will go to the mess hall and go the rest of the way to uh, 75. And there we go. All right. 45% Hasidious favor, I can go to the mess hall. Now I need to test something out here real quick before I jump right into it. So first, I need to find things. Servery flour, servery pineapple, servery potato. Okay, so they're all servery versions of it, so these all should be good uh, to use. Because they aren't actually unlocking the, the specific item. So I'm good there. I can make meat pies and uh, stews, but I cannot make pineapple pizzas at my cooking level of 50. I need 65 for the pizzas, if I believe correctly. Yeah, I need 65. So I'm going to make lots of pies and stews, get myself up to uh, 75. Uh, it's not showing, but get myself up to 75 favor and then go from there. Ah, crap. Okay, so I just realized something. I can't actually do the the stew because uh, I can get bowls, right? That's perfectly fine. That is unlocked here. Uh, they only come from non 
monster sources. However, a bowl of water comes from a zombie at level 40. So, um, I can't make the, the potato stew simply because of the bowl of water, but I think I can make, I can make the meat pies still because <laughs> I have access to this servery dish, which is a new thing. I might only be able to make uh, servery flour with a water, the bowl of water. I'm going to try doing it with something else, like a bucket of water. Okay, moment of truth. Can I make a flour? Oh, I can. Okay. So I need to go get um, some buckets so I can make these into pastry dough. And this is servery pastry dough. Very good. Then I can use these on the dishes. Very good. Then use those on the pies. Hey, there we go. Very nice. And then I can cook these and drop them off. There it is. <laughs> Don't know why it doesn't show inside of here. That's kind of strange, but whatever. Jagex, please fix this. All right, with these last five pies, we should 75% Hasidious favor. Awesome. So I can do the woodcutting guild, finally. So my trips are now oak tree to the sawmill operator and then to a bank. Where is the closest bank? Yeah, and then just the bank up here. Sweet. I can do that. Oh yeah, now that I have access to the woodcutting guild, I can use my uh, my eggs at the shrine. Sweet. Hopefully this will be significantly faster than doing it in Varrock. I guess we'll see. But yeah, this will be my new home until I make all of my uh, uh, my planks. All right. Just like that, we have 12,000 oak planks. My goodness, that took a long time. Okay, <laughs> so a few things happened uh, in the meantime. Let me go over that. All right, so here's all the things that happened since the last time I had a clip. Um, I got a lot more uh, bird's nests. I'm actually going to open these before I start the construction grind, uh, including two clues. We'll see how those turn out. I was able to get uh, a lot of Dr. Chekyll random events. I got three of them. I got the agility potion unlocked, the super attack unlocked, and the super energy unlocked. Uh, next up is just a Cadentine. I only have Cadentine and Lantadine left, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, a awesome upgrade. I got the flax. Um, that was just from doing a, uh, a beekeeper random event. This is like the third or fourth beekeeper I've gotten and I just now got the flax. Like, like here's my beekeeper's boots. Oh, I maybe I've only done it once so I might be confusing it with my main. Anyway, I have gotten the beekeeper before but this time I finally got flax. Woohoo! That means I don't have to wait till Zora to unlock flax and with the flax i am able to make bowstring now um yeah so let me get into it real quick i will open up these bird nests i don't really need those as unlocks so i'll go ahead and release those and this will also unlock the actual bird nest itself but as we talked about before i'm not going to crush it because that is a unlock from the criara minions since i am at the woodcutting guild anyway. Let me see if I get extra lucky and get a chicken piece. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what? There's no fucking way. Literally the first goddamn egg I put in. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Okay, uh, the second egg? Okay, it's just a nothing. <laughs> I fucking cannot believe this. Alright, what about the blue eggs? Uh. 
<laughs> Alright, well I got some uh, seed nests out of that. Um, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I got a fucking chicken head. Uh, that is really fucking rare. How rare is that? Let me see. My god, 1 in 300 for this evil chicken head. Well, uh, I'll, I'll take it. That's, uh, that's pretty great. <laughs> Alright, so, let me, uh, let me open up these, oh, yeah, let me open up these bird's nests and see what seeds I get. Alright, so what all new did we get out of that? We got, uh, apple trees, curry seed, spirit seed, orange tree seed, pineapple, palm tree, and papaya tree. Very nice. So these are the fun ones. Um, these rings uh, are mostly locked behind crawling hands, but um, I'm going to go ahead and open these uh, bird's nests as they are. Actually, you know what? You know what? No. I'm going to wait till I get all of the rings on the crawling hands done. That, that'll be that'll be a good balance. So that once I get all the rings from the crawling hands, then I'll be able to open up these bird's nests. And for the beginner one... Just get a clue, don't get the thing, and I get an easy scroll. Let me see if I can do these guys. Can't do this one. An easy. Can I do this one? And I can't do this one. The Iron War Hammer is locked behind a level 25 black card. So, that's locked out for now. Okay. Let me organize my inventory, or my bank real quick, and then I will get back to it. Alright, so basically what I'm going to be doing is running back and forth between my home portal and build mode and files here. Files unnotes items for you, specifically my oak planks, uh, for 5 GP each. So this whole thing is going to only cost me like, like a couple tens of thousands GP, which is totally worth it as opposed to running all the way back to Fallad or back, which is what I did for the first part of it. But... Uh, I'm going to be building oak larders all the way to 70 construction. Oh my god, this grind has taken so freaking long. Oh, it's such a relief to be done with that. 70 construction. You can now build a dungeon and obtain expert contracts from mahogany homes. Oh yeah, that's right. I can do revitalization pools. I mean, I can't because of the items that it requires, but that's the thing I'm here for. The skeleton guard. Ah. Okay, there is that. This floor space. Once you go down into greater magic cage, a trap door. How about this trap door. Trap door I can make with oak planks. And that should be that should allow me to build downstairs. Let me go ahead and convert five of these planks. Because what I want to do is build a trap door down. There we go. So now, if I check out this, my viewer in the dungeon. How do I? How do I create a basement? Oh yeah, there we go. Build an obelite below the throne room. There we go. Okay, so now I can go down. There we are. Okay, and then this is the, the corner that I need, the guard space. Build a skeleton guard. Ah! Alright, let me enter my building again. Kill this skeleton guard and then uh, move on. How do I activate this thing? When challenge mode is turned on, it will attack nearby players. How do I turn on challenge mode? Okay, apparently there is a switch that I can install. Build lever space. 
Okay, I can do it with oak planks, but I need two more oak planks. Build this stupid lever. Who designed this? This is so stupid. <laughs> Alright, so I got a lever. So I turn on challenge mode. And I go downstairs. And my skeleton should start attacking me. Ah, yes! Level 22 skeleton. It just has the name skeleton. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh god. Well, I now have this in case the other guards need it. I am. I cannot believe this. <laughs> Hold on. Right, so I will eventually need this for the baby red dragon. Actually, no, that, those are also just regular NPCs. Oh, I cannot fucking believe this. Is there a huge spider? Is this the only huge spider? Okay, it looks like huge spider is unique. It actually has the name huge spider. Oh, God. Well, I didn't need to build this after all. The skeleton guard... Uh, only has the name Skeleton. So this is all just a massive fucking waste of my time. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, oh well. I guess, um, I guess this will come back later when I get to Combat 81 for the huge spider. But until then... Okay, looks like it's also going to be useful for the level 74 guard dog. Alright, so this isn't an entire waste of my time. I take it back. I got a little bit emotional. But the, the skeleton being named Skeleton is pretty funny to me. Oh boy. Well, at least I got this now. Kind of neat. Doesn't actually do anything. And I have 70 construction which is basically all the construction levels I will need for a very long time. Like, I'm going to do a little bit of research this evening, see um, what all I can build with 70 construction and the items that I have that may be useful for me. It might not be much, but I might be able to utilize my home uh, quite a bit even at such a low level. All right, well, now that we've got the skeleton guard out of the way, um, I'm going to take it as a victory, even though, you know, technically I didn't need to kill it. I'm going to I'm going to think in my head that I had to kill it. So, yeah, I'm going to take the win where I can. Anyway, uh, after skeleton guard <laughs> is the level 22 Tiz Kek. OK, so this is the thing that splits out of the larger blob in fight caves. So this Tizkek is actually locked out behind the larger version of itself, which is level 45. So this level 22 Tizkek is locked out behind its predecessor, the level 45 Tizkek. Right, and after the level 22 Tizkek, is a level 22 guard and a level 22 guard is not I've ever killed yet so I'm going to go get one of those okay where is the level 22 there he is the level 22 guard there you go level 22 guard off the list what is after a level 22 guard the tis kit Okay, the Tiz Kit is the bat and the fight caves. Okay, I am just here for the bat, and then I gotta leave. Sorry, fight caves. And bunk that. And easy enough. Wave two. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Leave or escape? Is escape just the fast option? <gasps> oh, I got to cool from doing that. Interesting. Okay, so um, leaving the caves caused me to get to cool. I am not going to be able to keep this. I have. I'm going to have to drop it. 
because Tokul is dropped by monsters, specifically uh, uh, all of these little guys that run around. So that's unfortunate that you get Tokul even for killing one thing. I forgot about that little mechanic. But I am going to just do this for uh, all of the other fight cave pieces. I'm not going to keep them. I am just going to drop them after exiting the fight caves. All right, what is after the level 22 Tizki? A level 22 guard in the ham storeroom? Is it just called guard? Yeah, it's just called guard, so I don't really have to go after that. Uh, after the level 22 guard is a level 22 bandit. Where can I find one of these guys? Looks like these are only in the bandit camp in the wilderness. So let me get on over to the wilderness. Okay, and there is a guard bandit. Is that what they're called? I guess it's just called a guard bandit. Oh, this guard bandit is a separate thing. There's apparently just a level 22 bandit. All right, let me see. I'm gonna see if I can find just a level 22 regular bandit. Cause these are all guard bandits. Oh, there we go. Here's just a regular level 22 bandit. The level 22 bandits... Oh, they drop iron scimitars. That unfortunately is not an upgrade for me, but it is nice. Cat in time. Easy peasy. Alright, let me get out of here. So after the level 22 bandit is a Shantae guard. Hmm, okay. Alright, and here's the level 22 Shantae guard. These guys don't drop anything. Just bones. Okay. Looks like after that is a level 22 bandit, but that's the same type of thing that exists out in the wilderness, so we're good there. Uh, and then another guard? Oh, and then after the guard is a level 22 splatter. Alright, this is going to be interesting. So this is part of the pest control mini game. And the level 22 splatters are the lowest level uh, NPC in pest control. So, I think I can get to pest control. Let me see here. Oh, I have to wait five minutes. Anyway, I'm going to make my way over to pest control. I am not sure what the lowest level that I can do this is. Okay, so it looks like I need a combat level of 40 to get into the novice lander, which I am combat level 66. So I'm good there. I don't have to gain any combat levels or do any training outside of it. I just have to get inside, not be too much of a nuisance, and uh, after I kill nothing but splatters all game, go from there. There is a level 22 splatter. Ooh, I have to go fast. I can attack the portals at any time, that is perfectly fine. But I do need to find a level 22 splatter while I'm in here. Oh, wait, that's a 44. Wow, I can't even find level 22 splatters. There we go. Level 22 splatter. Punk. Nice. There we go. That's a level 22 splatter off the list. Let me finish up with this game. And there you go. That is the level 22 splatter. What is after the level 22 splatter? More guards and skeletons, and then a level 22 dark wizard. Oh. The level 22 dark wizards are in the current castle, which is on that top floor, and around the dark wizard's tower. Over here is the dark wizard's tower. Okay, so I need to find a level 22 one. 
that one? Yes, okay, so level 22 Dark Wizard. Okay, and that guy's out of the way. Alright, what is after the level 22 Dark Wizard? A level 22 Crystalline Spider, okay. So this guy is in the gauntlet. And the gauntlet is locked behind getting into Priftinus. So this is going to be locked out until then. After the Crystalline Spider is a Black Unicorn Foal. Now Black Unicorn Foals, those are the ones just to the side of Relica that I saw before. So I need to work my way up to about here, I think is where they are. And there we are, level 22 Black Unicorn Foal. Doesn't do anything new for me. Apparently, it just runs away. Oh my god. <laughs> it's taken me on a little adventure. Alright. After a black unicorn foal is a bandit guard. This thing is, or a guard bandit, I should say. This thing is out in the wilderness. Let me go get that. Where is the level 22? There it is. Level 22 guard bandit. You shall not pass. Wow, where'd you get that line from? How original. All right. That guy's out of the way. Let me get back to safety. Actually, while I'm walking back, I'll go ahead and introduce the next one. After the guard bandit, level 22, is a ham guard. Those are just in the, the ham base, I guess. Alright, now that I'm down here, here's the level 22 ham guard. This is the last of the ham guards, so I can officially kill any ham guard down here. And there we go. Needle and some bones. What is after the level 22 ham card? A level 22 banshee. Interesting. Okay. I did not know banshees were this low level, but looks like these are the banshees in the Slayer Tower. Slayer Tower is in Mauritania, so it is locked behind doing Priest in Peril. Okay. What is after banshee? Ooh. Okay. A cave crawler. Uh, the <laughs> the longer viewers of you will know that the cave crawler is, well, it's my current slayer task, and it's been locking me out of grinding slayer uh, this whole time. So, cave crawler, I can go kill now. Let me go do that. All right, so these cave crawlers, they do have the ability to poison me. Which might be kind of an issue. I do have a lot of food with me. The poison itself, however, um, I can now deal with, but I don't have any anti-poisons on me. I'm just in for a quick kill. I don't really necessarily need more than that. Okay, it looks like they do eight poison, so these guys poison quite a bit. But I'm going to just kill it real quick, get on out, and then just let the poison run out. There we go. Now, cave crawlers themselves do unlock quite a few things for the account. Uh, they unlock red spider's eggs and limpwort roots. I believe limpwort roots. But either way, these um, are going to unlock a few things that I'm going to use for herbler training down the line, as well as doing my slayer task. Now, I've always been curious when you go to a bank, your poison goes away, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Interesting. So that must just be... I don't know what causes my main to do that. Does anybody know why? Whenever I... If I click Cure here... You haven't got anything capable of curing your poison. Really? So what does Anti-Poison do? Yeah, Anti-Poison should cure poison. And it does. Don't know why it said that I don't have anything in my bank that can 
capable of curing my poison. Whatever. Anyway, that's cleared up. I can indeed make more if I need to. After the level 23 cave crawler is a level 23 goat. Where on earth is a level 23 goat? Looks like they are in the desert. So let me go get one of those. Okay, I think this is it. Yep, level 23 goat. Any of them will do. Do these guys drop anything? Ooh, desert goat horn. Okay, nice. That is a new unlock. I don't know what all it's useful for, but I do know that it is useful for Herblorn. Okay, yeah, it looks like it is made... You use it for combat potion. Nice, which might actually be pretty good for me. Anyway, what is after the level 23 goat? A level 23 monk of Zamorak. Where are the level 23 ones found? Deep Wilderness Dungeon. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, there's the monk of Zamorak. Level 23. Wow. Okay. Can I attack it? Yes, I can. Yeah, these are just like any other monks of Zamorak, except for one level higher. Yeah, there you go. Easy peasy. What is after the level 23 monk of Zamorak? Ooh, a level 23 gnome guard. Nice. So it looks like these are around the tree gnome stronghold. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me, uh, let me get teleported back to uh, Lumbridge. And here we are. Okay. So are any of you a gnome guard? Nope. Thought I saw one just inside. Yeah, there we go. Level 23 gnome guard. Let's get this guy off the list. Boom. Yep, so those guys just drop bones. Nothing too special about them. Okay, what's after the level 23 gnome guard? A level 23 Kazard guard? I don't even know how you pronounce this. K Kazard? Anyway, uh, these guys are just fighting over here in the... Uh, actually, wait, no, these are different. These are in the fight arena. Let me see if I can get access to these guys. Aha, here we go. I didn't even have to go too far in. Kazard guard. There you are. Run over to him. Bonk. Let's see, do these guys drop anything? Nope, just bones. There we are. Okay, what is after the level 23 Kazard Guard? A pirate. Okay, looks like these guys can be found in a few places. Uh, the level 23 ones are in Brimhaven, Pirate's Cove, Port Piscarelius, and the Port Serum Jail. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are... These look a little different than the, the main picture, but here you go. A level 23 pirate. There you go, iron bolts. That's a new unlock. Sweet. These guys do drop some unique stuff, like a bronze scimitar and iron plate body, but uh, nothing that I need as of right now. So if I need some of these unlocks, I at least have the pirate there. But what is after the level 23 pirate? A level 23 dark wizard. Oh, that's just in the dark wizard's tower. Okay, so I'm looking for a level 23 one. There we are. Level 23 Dark Wizard. Easy as pie. Oh, I got a big inner clue. Can I do it? Nope, can't even do the first step. Okay. 
but is after the level 23 dark wizard. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. A level 23 cave slime. Okay, so this cave slime actually unlocks something cool for us. So cave slime unlocks swamp tar. So swamp tar is important because it is needed to complete the Eagle's Peak quest, which in that quest you attack a level 13 Kebit. So I am going to go get a um, cave slime to get the swamp tar and do Eagle's Peak. Oh, what's this? Super compost. Nice. Thank you, Earth Impley. Okay, here is my level 23 cave slime. Oh, joy. Okay, so these guys, they always drop swamp tar, right? Oh, I'm poisoned. Poisoned for three is not that bad. So these guys always drop, drop swamp tar, and they have a really rare chance of dropping some other potentially useful things, like a oil lantern frame and a pair of iron boots. I don't think I'll ever need iron boots, but swamp tar is unlocked. I can just kind of pick it up willy-nilly as I want now. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm in the middle of doing a quest, but uh, thanks, Dr. Jekyll. Here you are. And Super Restore unlocked. Awesome. Let me finish this quest. Oh boy. Okay, there's the level 13 Kebit. Sweet. And there we go. Level 13 Kebit done. Thank you for the silver feather. I get to finish this quest. And there we go. Eagle's Peak done. I now have the ability to use box traps. That's pretty awesome. So that leaves me with just land to dime left for Dr. Jekyll. That is a great feeling. Um, after that though, okay, so we just did the cave slime. After the level 23 cave slime, is a level 23 crab. Uh, this has the same issues as the level 21 crab from earlier, so I'm just gonna put this on the list. Okay, and then after the level 23 crab is another goat, and then a pirate. Okay, and after that is the Weapon Master. Okay, Weapon Master is just the NPC from uh, the Shield of Arav that I didn't kill before, so I'm just gonna go back and kill that because I have a key to get inside. And there he is. Level 23 Weapon Master. And there we are. Weapon Master done. Alright, so after the level 23 Weapon Master is a level 23 zombie. And this appears to only exist in the Temple Trekking minigame. So I'm going to have to wait till I can get into Mauritania and do temple trekking before I have access to this specific zombie. So it's going on the list for now. After the level 23 zombie is another pirate and then animated iron armor level 23. Okay, so this one is a little interesting. Uh, this is part of the warrior guild, how you get like warrior guild tokens. So I need a Iron Full Helm, which comes from a Hill Giant at level 28. I can already get an Iron Plate Body from Pirates. And the Iron Plate Legs, I have to wait until level 53, because those drop from an Ice Giant. Okay, so this guy is locked out behind a level 53 ice giant. What is after the level 23 iron armor? A level 23 foreman. So it looks like I will need to have started at least Monkey Madness 1 to get access to the shipyard simply because you need the gnome royal seal in order to get into the shipyard itself. All right. So after the level 23 foreman is the level 24 stuff. Awesome. Uh, first up is the level 24 swamp frog. There's one, not in a cage. Level 24 swamp frog.
There you go. The Depths and Bones. Okay. What is after the level 24 Swamp Frog? A Spider level 24. Interesting. These are in the Stronghold of Security. Okay. Let me get back there. Okay, so there are some level 24 spiders, but they are in the middle of a bunch of other spiders that I don't want to kill. So what I'm going to do is sneak on past here. Oop. Yes, there we go. Nice. Level 24 spider, done. All right, what is after a level 24 spider? Oh boy, okay, so it looks like it is Arena, and Arena is a uh, an NPC in Canifus, which is gonna be locked out behind access to Mauritania. So that's going on the list. And after Arena is a level 24 zombie. Looks like they are pretty much all over the place, but the closest one to me is in Drainer from where I am, so I'm gonna go there. Okay, it didn't take very long to find. Level 24 zombie. Just like all the other zombies, they have same standard drop table. And there we are. Dead zombie. And three coins. After a level 24 zombie is more Canifus people, so I'll put these guys onto the list. Uh, but immediately after that is a snake on Apatol. That's slightly unique. The snake on Apatol is only accessible through getting to Apatol, which last I checked requires the completion of Monkey Madness 1. Yep, so that is locked out behind Monkey Madness 1. So after the snake is a whole bunch more NPCs in Mauritania. So those guys are all going to have to wait till I get access to that, which is only level 30, so it's not too far away. And I have to make sure that I killed them with the Wolfbane Dagger so they don't turn into higher level werewolves. But after all those guys is a level 24 mourner. I'm pretty sure I can't get to this guy either. Ooh, actually, I may be able to kill this level 24 mourner. Let me see. I'm not entirely sure. I've looked around for this mourner. There's apparently a level 24 mourner that hangs around outside of this church, but I, for the life of me, cannot figure out uh, how to make it spawn. It's probably one of those things where it shows up during a quest and then it will go away at the end of the quest. Um, I'm going to mark it as not doable yet, um, simply because there are other level 24 mourners in the mourner tunnels, and I'm not seeing one out here. It wouldn't really make sense for there to be an attackable mourner this early yet either, because they're kind of locked behind doing uh, those morning's end quests. So I'm going to just assume that it's going to be part of a, another quest where it spawns around the church. And I'm going to put this guy on my backlog. After the level 24 mourner is a level 24 lynx that is just going to be right over next to the other lynxes. So let me get over there. Okay, here are the lynxes. Just got to find the level 24 one. There we go. Again, these guys don't drop anything. There we go. Level 24 links out of the way. What is after the level 24 links? Looks like a another uh, Canifus resident. So we got Zoja and Joseph. Those are both going on the list. Okay, and then after those two is a ghost, level 24. And these guys are found outside of the Grave of Scorpius, which is just back over near Ardon. So I'll be... Where is it? Yes, yeah, just over here. Alright, 
And here they are, level 24 ghosts. I really don't understand the, the lore behind all this, but it's kind of neat, I guess. And there you go, level 24 ghost out of the way. What is next? The cave goblin guard. Oh, nice, this, uh, this unlocks iron chain bodies. So let me go get to the cave goblin guard and hopefully get an iron chain body and then I can do the, the next lockout. Okay, and here we are, the cave goblin guard. I have to kill quite a few of this guy because I need his iron chain body. There you go. First one down. Alright, well, I'm gonna kill a whole bunch of those. Um, I guess I'll throw up the highlights if I get any new unlocks, but I need an iron chain body from this guy. It's only one in six, so it shouldn't take too long. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that was really fast. <laughs> there is an Iron Chain Body Unlock. Sweet. With that, I can do Surlay. It's locked up behind doing Recruitment Drive. So I am going to do Black Knight's Fortress and then Recruitment Drive and get Surlay. There you go. Black Knight's Fortress done. Oh boy. All right, well, I have to change my look over to female. Hopefully my, oh god, <laughs> there you go. Hopefully I can remember what I looked like. All right, and here we are. Now that I'm a female, I can attack Sir Lay. Let's see here. Oh wow, he's got a really slow attack animation. Yeah, whatever. I didn't. <laughs> oh, there's Sir Lay. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish up the rest of this quest and uh, turn myself back to normal. And there we go. Okay. So. Recruitment tribe is done. This oh, 15 herbler unlocked as well with that. So, uh, this Initiate Salad, I remember, if I remember correctly, is not dropped by anything, so it is okay for me to have it. Yep, and we are all good. So let me get myself back into my old skin, and then, uh, move on. Oh, interestingly enough, this, uh, this helmet is now my new best-in-slot helmet. Uh, this spiny helmet is now basically just used for Slayer. And there we are, looking myself again. Back in my old rags. Now that that is out of the way, what is next? Oh, joyous. Okay, so the next thing I have on my list is the Goblin Champion. All right, uh, this is the one that we all knew was coming. Uh, basically, the only way for me to get into this Goblin Champion is to get a Goblin Champion scroll. So I have, let's check here. I am currently sitting at 5,491 goblins killed. Uh, I just gotta get the 1 in 5,000 drop. I'm already over KC. I'm going to basically try to do any of the clues that I can uh, within reason. Like if they're super far away teleports, I'm just going to go ahead and drop them. Uh, but I'm going to try to do the ones that are close. Yeah, I'm going to be grinding goblins for a while to get that scroll, so uh, you might not see any more updates till next week. <laughs> well, there it is. I literally just have to make a bet. I literally just have to make a bet for it, and it works. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah.
<laughs> uh, thanks, big man. <laughs> All right. Well, while I'm here, what did I get from my clues? Ooh, monk's robe tea. Some fashion for my new uh, monk item. Eh, another heraldic shield. Ooh, yes. All right, black full helm. That is. Really good. Oh, I just got a hard clue from a magpie that I might be able to do. Ah, oh, darn. Well, can't do this hard clue. Oh well. Time to actually go and do my, uh, my thing now. My champion scroll. Alright, so here I am to challenge the goblin champion. Uh, this guy really only has one special rule, and that is I can only use magic. Uh, he has an ability to drain my prayer a little bit, but I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. I brought lots of food just in case. I have 200 casts of um, my spell. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens with it. Only allowed to use magic attacks, no melee or range. Do you still want to proceed? Yes, let me add him. Challenger is ready. All right. Let's do this. Oh yeah, this is easy peasy. I didn't even need food. All right, Goblin Champion done. 128 Slayer and 128 hit points. Easy cheese. Okay, now I get to go over here and search my chest. Haha, <laughs> yes. And there we are. 24 Slayer, just like that. Got my two scroll my two banners. Ooh, it's looking good. And with that, I think we are good to wrap it up for this week. <laughs>